Hunting Simulator 2 has gone to the dogs, and my word, they have done it very well. We only have five dogs available to us right now, and three of them are the same breed, just a different colour. But each breed has a unique set of attributes and skills that set them apart. First up, the Beagle Hound. Now this is a firm favourite for me as I grew up with two of these wonderful dogs as a kid. A hound is a great tracking dog, and its main skill, other than tracking, is hunting larger targets. Once it discovers something like a bison, it would distract them by barking at them, allowing you to get in position for a decent shot. Now this isn't something I have particularly mastered quite yet. I'm a little bit too impatient. But the beagle will almost definitely be a great asset to you on almost any hunt, with the exception of duck hunting. For that, you most definitely want to think about taking a retriever. Retrievers, as the name suggests, are perfect for retrieving birds from land or water, something which the beagle is incapable of doing despite their ability to swim. Now the only issue I've discovered in the game here is that I can see the edges of deeper water have these overzealous invisible barriers. They're there to stop you from getting into the water. That in itself is a bit of a shame to be honest, as I would prefer to be able to at least get my ankles wet. So. If you're standing too close to one of these barrier edges, your retriever will likely drop your bird somewhere that is just out of your reach. If they do, simply move back a little bit and issue the fetch command again, and they should bring it immediately fetch to your feet. Who's a good doggy? Stay in position. Now small fowl like to hide on land within long grass. One of the dogs you could use for this, and you can pretty much use any dog, but I like to try and use the pointer, which is aptly named because they point silently at the target, allowing you to sneak up on them. I'll have to be honest here, this dog, and indeed this type of hunting, is the one that I struggle with most, by which I mean I've only managed to flush one time, and that was by accident with the beagle. Flush is the unique command you need to give to your dog in order to charge into the long grass and flush the birds out into the air so that you can take your shot. It's a very exciting hunting experience, which I believe originated in Scotland. Either way, it is something I will continue to try to perfect in the future. So, no matter what type of hunting you are doing, there is a faithful friend to assist you in Hunting Simulator 2. And I've got to say, this is such an amazing feature and they have done it so well that regardless of any perceived limitations you might think Hunting Simulator 2 has, especially in terms of simulation, this could very well make up for it. In addition to the dogs, they've also got a shooting range, so if you want to go and hone your accuracy, you can do that there. This really is a very fun game. It's not necessarily a hardcore simulator, in fact in some areas it's definitely lacking in that regard. But Hunting Simulator 2 has delivered so well on the dogs that that alone should justify you at least considering picking this game up. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Till next time. Bye for now.